everybody it's me Desiree or I like to call myself du jour which is the French pronunciation of my name Desiree du jour anyway it's such a pleasant day you guys I am so glad to see you all it's been a while ah, I haven't been on YouTube or uploading any like video tutorials of me doing makeup in a minute y'all so I guess it's been a little too long anyway <laughs> anyway um so basically I am going to show you guys how to do this look of course um so I hope you guys enjoy um and that will be a little bit on the second half of this video um first of all I just want to say hi it's been a, like I said it's, it's been a minute um I have been a little bit all over and I'm finally back home in Georgia um just a little quick recap um we were in Germany for a few years which is where I originally started doing my makeup tutorials and I am just um rebranding myself and just ready to get started all over again because like I said this has always been my passion. I love makeup. I love fashion. I love art. Love it. Um, for a little while I was doing baking. Um, kind of some things that kept me busy. But I was like a military wife. And um, I got pretty far. Came down here. Opened up a little store. And in the midst of me working in the store. Um, I had been feeling sicker and sicker for the last few years. And I didn't understand why. You know I'm like. You know, a lot of different allergy outbreaks, people that know me personally, you know, going back and forth to the hospital, um, just weird allergy symptoms, not just the normal ones, you know, like, um, the, at first it started off with just like, uh, swelling, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hives, you know, that type of stuff. And then it turned from that to, um, allergy like symptoms like I had to be having inhaler I was in the hospital for like a week and this was mostly in in Germany and now I'm back in Georgia and I'm still dealing with the same symptoms but just in a weird different kind of way like um it, it, it's a long list guys a long list of different symptoms not gonna lie to y'all but a lot of like stomach issues and I recently found out that I have a very strong gluten and wheat um, allergy and intolerance so all this time not even knowing what's going on it's my allergies so I decided you know what I had a chance to close my bakery and I decided to take it it was just mostly me working my husband he works full-time okay. and it was mostly me working it and I had to make a decision you know I love making sweets but health 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 is more important um, women Especially if you're a mom, if you're a daughter, if you're a wife, take care of yourself. If there's nothing I can stress to you more. I know that you have to take care of everybody. I know that you have to take care of your family. I know that you have to take care of everything relies on you. Um, you don't have time. You have to work. Whatever. If there is nothing that is more important in your life, you ne it needs to be yourself. If you're not at your best, you cannot help the rest of your family. You cannot. That's the biggest mistake. No, pushing it off for another few weeks or another few months or another few years. It only makes things worse. I wish that I had really took the time and paid attention early on to what was going on versus just treating my symptoms. Um, then I feel like it wouldn't have gotten as far as it as it has. And to the point where it's bone and joint muscle pain and inflammation and my thyroid enlarged. Just... A, this, it's just unnecessary. If I'd have just took the time to take care of myself, I wouldn't have dealt with this. So if anything, my channel, De Jour Beauty, is all about the woman understanding what you have in you already. You're beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Learn how to truly bring out your beauty. I don't believe that makeup is something to just camouflage the way that you look. It's not a way to change, just change the way you look. It's a way to make you feel as beautiful on the outside as you're supposed to feel on the inside. That's what I want to help you guys with. Um, I went through a process of where I completely lost myself. I didn't take the time to do the things that I like to do. I didn't put any time into myself. I was just working, 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 working. And I'm just sitting over here looking a hot mess. 
you know, my thyroid issues, gaining weight, all of the above. And I was a person that really took the time and took care of myself, but I lost myself. It's very easy to do, especially when your wife and when your mom, easy to do. We, I have two beautiful children, my husband and I. We have a five-year-old, his name is Daniel, and I have a three-year-old, Deanna. So, um, my, my kids are all over the place. Like, in the makeup video, you'll see, like, a little hand stretch out, and that's, that's Deanna. She was just so into what mommy was doing, which is totally cool. And my son, Daniel, you may see him throughout some of the videos, um, reach in and out of the videos. Um, my son is also autistic. So um, any way that I can show, share and ha help with my experiences with you guys, I'm no expert by any means necessary, but I know what it's like to be a mom and try to figure stuff out on your own with the help of God, of course. Like, I know what it's like. So I hope that I can relate to you guys in a way that helps everyone as much as possible. Um, but overall, take care of yourself. It took my family really stepping in and being like, look, especially my sister and my mom, like, look, you need to get yourself together. You look like a hot mess. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have time for this. I'm working. I don't have time to make myself look nice anymore. And they were just making me feel bad. And I'm like, you know what? It took me a minute, but I'm like, y'all are right. Once I really started working on my health on the inside, I started to want to feel, even though I didn't feel good on the inside, I wanted to look better on the outside so that I can feel better. And sometimes waking up, doing my makeup, you know, doing my normal errands, it makes me feel good. Getting my hair done, you know, getting my nails done, doing these things, they help me to feel good. They help me to feel better. Because sometimes when you don't feel good on the inside, it helps to work on your outside. And I... Beauty is, is by no means a substitute for a good person, good character. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your health. If you don't feel good on the inside, putting a little bit of makeup on the outside will help you to feel a little bit better. It won't solve your problems. Only Jesus can do that. But it will help you to feel a little bit better. Put a little sparkle on your shine. You know what I mean? Just, just do something to yourself. I hope this makeup tutorial will encourage you to get up, take your hair out your bun, wash your face, wash your armpits, put some glitter on and some dust and some... I got you, girl. I got you. I got you, boo. I got you. I got you. See? I'm with you. Put some glitter on and make yourself look good, girl. Walk around that house, put your heels on, and sashay. Do your thing, boo. You look good. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Do you, man. Just do you. Do you, boo. Eat you a little snack. And put your makeup on. And do your hair, boo. Take a bath. Do, let's do all of that. All of that. I'm looking out for you. Because you're important and you're beautiful. Inside out. So do your stuff. Take care of yourself. Walk around here acting like you got some sense. You got me? You got me. Anyway. Keep watching for the tutorial. And it was good to see you guys. Right, we're just gonna jump right on in here with the tutorial, guys. I'm so sorry. I just want to say I lost like the first half of my video. I'm still trying to get this whole editing thing, but for the most part, I used um, Tyrus in my eyeshadow lid crease, and I also covered my lid with the NYX. Um, I'm not sure what color this one is, you guys, but I used the little eyeshadow base, um, the flesh toned. So I think that worked pretty nicely for me. And I just kind of covered my whole lid. Um, normally I use the white one. I I'm, I love that one. But for some reason it's gone missing. Um, when you have two toddlers, I guess that's what happens. So it's all good. Okay, we're going to go right into the Go Nude color. And I'm also going to put in the link description box, you guys, um, the exact Morphe palette I'm using, the 35V, you know. And recently I just discovered these Morphe's and I, I really like them. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool and affordable. And I'm going into the swipe right. 
I'm just going to cover the whole lid. I usually like to use maybe five or six different colors that I work with. It works for me. So, just going to blend on out. Oh gosh, I really look like somebody's auntie in this bonnet. But you know, I just can't stand my hair in my face while I'm working. Anyway, we're going to go right into the Zulu by Juvia. Juvia's. Haha. I am using the Art is Life palette. I'm using the orange color. And I'm putting that on my lid. I just kind of like to mix it up a little bit. Because normally I use like a peach or a pink. And I thought, you know what? Let's just let's just switch the game up a little bit, you know. Put that orange on there and see how things gonna go a little bit. And I really like that, you know. So every now and then you just gotta change things up. So you just wanna kinda blend that into the middle towards the end of your eyelid. Kinda make like a nice little orange dreamsicle ombre on your lids. And I'm in the same palette, I'm just going to use this purple color. Not really sure the name. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to kind of put that in my crease. And I'm going to go back to the Morphe. And I'm going to use the Addicted and go right into the crease with that. I like to kind of go back and define my crease, you know, fix those mistakes. It's never too late to kind of go back and fix what you messed up, right? But whenever I kind of put the um the base on my eyelid, I find that I kind of do it a little too high. So sometimes I lose the depth of that color that I had added. Um, so I just kind of go back in and retouch it. And that doesn't hurt too much. And I'm just using the Swipe Right, my Morphe palette, as a highlighter on underneath my brows. We're just going to blend out our setting powder there and add our blush right now I'm using the Milani tea rose and you guys I am adding a little Shazam I am adding the glitter eyeliner into my crease it's a new thing that I just started doing not too long ago y'all and I love it it just kind of throws people off a little bit you know they just like look for a second to like, oh, you got glitter on I'm like yes sis yes so I've already added my eyeliner and I slapped a nice little pair of lashes on there whichever one is your favorite just go for it you know and you just gotta let it dry out a little bit I sprayed some setting powder on my brush and I am using my highlighter on my cheek and I have fell in love with the Anastasia um, highlighting palette I'm gonna add that information in the box as well and I'm working with the gold and I'm just gonna kind of highlight it in the center with the white this is the I'm working with the Anastasia Aurora glow kit y'all so these are the areas I like to highlight um, I like to add those um, that attention to it because in, in my book especially if you're gonna take some pictures it just really makes your pictures pop Next, I'm going to go right into this forever matte that I found at the beauty supply, y'all. Oh my god. I don't know what it is about the beauty supply and their makeup. I know some might feel like it's not like quality makeup, but I just love that stuff. Like they have these little Kylie Jenner dupes of lipsticks and I actually like them. They kind of roll a little bit sometimes, but I find that they look really, really neat in my opinion and I, I dig them I dig them don't forget to subscribe y'all 